you guys. Not only are we looking good, but we're feeling good. Um, got a couple uh, upgrades that I did um, since I bought it. Still wait for the trails to open up. But uh, I put a uh, tilt-out windshield on it from uh, Super ATV here in Indiana. And man, what a what an awesome windshield! I, I had a lot of big reviews on it. Um, this has a double latch, so you can put it in the lower lower position and tilt it out. And you've got air coming in on the warm days. And um, another feature that I like for the early morning. Or when you get in the glare as the sun's going down or whatever or if you're not going that fast um, you can tilt it up straight and obviously straight through um, air coming in so let me just show you up close here came packaged awesome uh, that thing could have fell out of 747 and arrived in one piece and you just you put this the seal on across the bottom you trim it to your side size uh, machine and then um, you know you got the clamps here on the uh, roll bar the mounting screws I will say mine I don't know if they had lock washers intended for this bolt or not but do you notice on a lot of them when I watched on YouTube, they had um, two mounting screws. Well, the lower one on the CF Moto is uh, just one. And mine was pivoting when I'd go to lock down the tilt out. It was pushing down and it was kicking the bottom of the windshield out. And... Um, I don't know if it needed a lock washer there, but it, you know, with only one secure point, it wanted to pivot. Other people I've talked to that have this windshield on the same model didn't have the issue. Anyways, I did, but what I did was I just, uh, this gap, there was a gap here of about an eighth of an inch, and that allowed this to pivot back and it stopped once it hit this mount. So, this angle here was uh, greater than 90 degrees and so all I did was took that off pounded it to a 90 and now it sits tight against there no issue so it was no big deal um, these struts here are very heavy duty everything on this I mean the thickness of the uh, poly and it's coated for scratch resistant it, it's just uh it was 400 about 474 and with tax delivered two days after i ordered it uh total out the door 500 bucks and i'm really excited about it one thing to note um you're not up on the top you need to watch See how that just gets, I got it as high up as I can, but then once it's down, you will have a gap up here uh, uh, from the roof down. And I've heard in the rain, you get water coming in that might drip and hit you in the beak. Uh, what I plan on doing is just running, I'm going to wait for some good rain and ride in it, see what happens. But along here, if I had a rubber flap coming down, I think that would... Uh, prevent it but yet it's flexible with the uh, rear view mirror I mounted up there in the middle because I like looking straight behind me also even though I got the side mirrors that was like 13 bucks on Amazon but you can't mount it in the center because the windshield needs needs room to uh, to pivot here all right um, but man what a what an impressive windshield they're built for your specific uh, machine and it's awesome and so I'm really looking forward to uh, enjoying it and um, 
that's really it just the windshield and the rear view mirror but I also um, my big dog Bo was having a hell of a time on the passenger seat um, just because the seat distance he couldn't turn around and he was freaking out and then he gets down on the ground or on the deck and doesn't know which way to go well so I made him a nice big seat here and uh, it's just a piece of plywood I use cardboard it's still got the two studs that hold the seat on like I said this is a 60 40 and uh, you know I didn't want to rip the seat uh, he never did on my other one bear legs riding in the back that's why I've got this uh, netting up here my other my lab just kind of keep him in there and he just sits here and looks out the side couldn't be happier put a rubber mat in the back so he's got some traction but Bo is the issue because he's very tall very big dog and high center of gravity and it just wasn't much room front to back so I just uh, used a piece of cardboard that the windshield actually came in and kind of measured and cut out a, a, uh, a pattern and there's more of a gap here because I got to be able to slide it up to get it around the backing of the seat but then there's two holes on the bottom that uh, it just sits down in so that can't move and then it's just sitting on those plastic uh, openings but and then I, I cut this back here so that when they get in they can get under the steering wheel and jump up and um, yeah so anyways that's what uh, that's what I did there and he freaking loves it we gave it a good test drive today around the house and um, yeah kind of a neat little neat little addition and um, till I get my half doors I think that's going to be the next thing I, I like those aluminum half doors on this but um, she's ready to go she wants to go I want it to go but we just uh, have to wait for the damn trails to open still got some snow not much but there is some bad yeah, so here's this here's this uh, seat like I said it just literally just lifts right out of the uh, you know right right where everything I think I can do this with one hand there we go so yeah that's the that's the whole contraption there but um, much better for road tripping with the dogs now so and then my passenger seat stays nice and uh, in one piece so all right thanks here I'll just uh, show removing the seat it's really nothing fancy um, do it holding the camera but it uh, just sits on those and then I got that notch so I can slide it forward so it doesn't hit the, the seat and uh, use some uh, short screws I got a 7 8 piece of plywood because why not wood so cheap right now but uh, it's got to hold a 160 pound black lab master but yeah so that's that's just how that is there. And then um, there's that notch so I can slide it way forward. Seat belts just kind of hang up a little bit. Move her back and drilled two holes for the two things that hold the seat. And we're done.